In this episode, I'm turning this brass piece into a train bridge. <laughs> So making the train bridge for this watch may seem like a pretty straightforward process, but the real challenge lies in boring these holes in their exact location. And when I say exact, I literally mean hair widths of error is unacceptable. So to get the alignment exact as possible, I'm using the skull centering scope, which is this tool right here. There are higher quality and more expensive scopes out there, but this one definitely does the job. I purchased this tool thinking it was the be all and end all, but in hindsight, the same results can be achieved with a high powered loop with a crosshair reference or a wobble stick. These methods are described in detail in the book by George Daniels titled Watchmaking. Also, Jerry over at Adventures in Watchmaking who is making the pocket watch described in this book is using the wobble stick method and explains it a bit more in detail. I've put the link for this book and Jerry's website in the description below. So now that I've finished locating all the holes on my workpiece, I need to turn the recesses in the brass. Before I can do that, I need to remove the original train bridge off the brass by hitting it with some heat. And then to get rid of the excess super glue, once they've cooled down, I'm gonna drop them in some.
completed recessing the underside of the train bridge. Um, I took a measurement and it read 1.26 millimeters and the original recess is 1.29. So I have an extra 0.03 millimeters for when I decorate the movement. Now it's time to create the square shoulders for the screws to sit in. So this tool is known as a D-bit and it's held in the tailstock and it's just plunged straight into the workpiece. I've just ordered a new set of needle folds, so I'm going to wait till they arrive before I give the train bridge its final shape and alignment pins. It is now time to cut out the rough shape of the train bridge. I'm not the greatest with the jeweler's saw, so I expect a lot of broken... So here's the train bridge on the movement. Obviously it's not finished. There's still a lot of work to do. I still need to do, I still need to insert the alignment pins. I need to shape the piece, final finishing, jeweling, beveling. Um, so still a long way to go, but I'm happy with where I'm at right now. So I'm going to wrap it up here. It's been a pretty productive week. It's now Saturday morning. I'm going to finish editing, upload it, and keep the weekends as strictly family time. The vlog and the work that I'm doing um, is definitely uh, after 9 p.m. Monday to Friday type of arrangement. Um, I just want to thank you all very much for taking the time out of your day to watch these videos, for subscribing, commenting, giving me feedback here on Facebook or Instagram. Um, it's been super positive, very encouraging and thank you all and hope that you all find these videos entertaining, uh, educational and, and hopefully inspire you to, you know, go out and conquer whatever it is that you want to do. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any of my upcoming videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or something you want to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section below.